What's up college football fans? Welcome to another QB Spotlight film breakdown video. Today we're going over Texas quarterback Quinn Ewers. And I know there's been being a lot reported about the, the current competition. Spring practice has started, right? Arch Manning coming in, right? So there's a lot going on and a lot being reported about the Texas quarterback competition, just the Texas quarterback situation in general. But I want to just spend time talking about Quinn Ewers and talk about what the film says, right? What the film tells us of why he had an up and down season last year some really really good games against you know Oklahoma even against against Washington he played well the first first few drives of Alabama that he played really well and then you know a few games that were not great Oklahoma State TCU and then he had some games that were just kind of up and down some really good plays and some kind of like head scratcher plays right so with all that said I think it comes down to a few things to, to remember is one he's a young quarterback you need quarterbacks time to develop and two it was, it was a while since he saw some live bullets you know what I mean like he was hurt for some of his high school career and then he missed you know the his last year going to Ohio State and so I think it's you know sometimes he's got to get back in the rhythm of you know playing against really really good athletes and fast competition that's something to remember I think it showed uh, I think why he was successful at times was because he was on the same page as his receivers we're going to watch some of that film uh, how do you know if a quarterback's on the same page well he's thrown with anticipation he's thrown to just space and trusting his receiver to be there right good feel on his on his passes and good feel of where the receiver is going to be so we're going to watch a few clips of what it looks like to be on the same page as your receiver and then the games that he struggled with he wasn't on the same page and it's it's, it's it's evident and whether that's his fault the receiver's fault the coach's fault probably a combination of things uh, but it's evident when a receiver does not run the right route or if Quinn Ewers thinks the receiver is running a certain route and he doesn't um, so again we don't know exactly what's being said in the in the uh, offensive staff meeting or you know what the receiver is supposed to do the quarterback's supposed to do but it's evident when they're not on the same page right so I think whenever he struggled that was the case so we're going to get some film, some good stuff when he's on the same page, and a few clips at the end of whenever he is not on the same page uh, uh, of, with his receivers and, you know, with the offensive scheme in general. But before we look at the film, I just want to encourage all to consider subscribing to the channel. We do quarterback content every week. We have a, a show with App State quarterback Brady McBride, and we just talk all things quarterbacks, podcasts. We have a lot of quarterbacks on the show that we interview, and then we have film breakdowns like this. So enough of looking at my face. Let's go ahead and dive into the film. Start with this throw. This this throw here is one of the hardest, if not the hardest, throws in all of football. It, it, it's a deep out in the opposite hash, right? So the opposite side of the field, throwing a deep out. So yours does a really, really good job there. One, putting some some zip on the ball, uh, but also having some touch as well. It's not just a, a dart, if you will. Uh, throws a very, very catchable ball. So we'll see. Of course, when you have a running game like Texas had, uh, Bama is going to try to stop that. So you technically or kind of really only have four DBs right now if you want to count this guy as kind of in the box because he is playing to defend the run here. It does help. Boom, they find out it's not the run. Back, back. But regardless, you got zone coverage here way off. So watch, boom, the ball is coming out right now before the receiver even breaks. You're just putting the ball there. The receiver's breaking right now. The ball's already coming out. So great timing, great anticipation, and just a really, really strong throw from the opposite side of the field, right? So it shows his arm strength, which, of course, everyone knows he has, a very good touch and a catchable ball, but he's synced up with his receiver here, right? So this is this is some of the good of Quinn years of 2022. The throw I want to show, I know it was incomplete. Um, would have been a, a tough catch, right, but probably a catchable ball if you asked, uh, I believe it was Worthy. If you asked him if he should have caught that, he's probably saying yes, right? I know he had to die, but still. Uh, juggle that popped up but let's look at the throw uh, kind of come back all right so here we go it's another good um, anticipation throw but but a good read by yours here in, a, in a, the opening drive so we'll watch the option here right so he's running just like that deep out here you got a deep safety um, so yours does a good job putting the ball more in the middle of the field as opposed to kind of leading him on his route Ball is out. I guess it's maybe just like a skinny seam, uh, but still does a good job not leading him over here. Uh, ends up being a pretty damn good throw despite it not being a touchdown or a catch. We'll watch this here, but again, I think it shows a good example of, of yours when he's synced up with his receivers and, and, and on, on you know the same page as them. Look, right off the bat, you can see, okay, if we go back, sorry, I know I'm all over the place, but right off the bat, you can see yours' eyes. He sees the safety up top moving this way. 
watch, sees a safety moving that way, able to come back to where he knows he has to put it in the middle of the field, right? But a good example of yours being linked up and synced up with his receiver early in the season, um, which led to plays like this, right? So if he's synced up with his receivers, then I think you can see more and more of these type of throws. And here's a, a fairly simple throw here, but I, I like it uh, for a few reasons because because Yuris recognizes the coverage quickly, gets the ball out quickly, doesn't wait for anything else to develop. And when you get the ball quickly to your receiver's hands, then they can do the rest, right? They can gain, make 15 yards out of a, a seven, six yard pass. So we see here, right off the bat, Rington going in motion. Yuris able to see, boom, off coverage right off the bat. This is your go-to guy. No reason to let the play continue to develop and, and see if something's there. Just get it to him quickly. He does that. Again, just a good example of being on the same page with your receivers here. Uh, and then they get up and give you 15-plus yards, something like that, right? We'll watch it from here. But you're going to watch Yuris' eyes. He notices and recognizes the coverage right off the bat. Sees off coverage. Get the ball out quick. Let your receiver do the rest of the work. Got to play against uh, OU. Another good example of being on the same page as his receiver, uh, but also a good job by Yuris setting up the throw. It's a good read. Good job setting up the throw in the pocket. Ball comes out as the receiver breaks. Hell of a catch too, right? So we'll break it down just a, just a bit more detail here. So we'll see Yuris that little kind of half roll, right? Boom, a little half roll. Sets back up. He sees that's exactly where he wants. Why? Because that's where the space is, right? You throw where the you throw the ball where, where where space is. It's kind of that simple. As a quarterback, sets up his throw by coming more in line with the pocket. Throws on the run. The ball is being released before the receiver even officially turns its head around. Ends up being a good throw, not bad coverage, and a, and a hell of a catch, right? Uh, so we'll watch watch this angle too, and you kind of see yours um, from the front view. Again, sets up the throw on the same page as his receiver. Ends up being a, a good play. Boom, that's what he wants. Ball comes out now, right? Sometimes you got to get coverage to get open, right? That's, a, well, that's what you're taught in college. Like, run run to the, the DB, and then you have plenty of space over here, right? Uh, so a good route there by Whittington. Hell of a catch, too. Last play or watch of, of yours as, as it relates to being on the same page as, as his receiver. This is an easy throw for him, but I still think a good example um, just putting good touch on the ball, get, getting it out there with pressure in his face, right? So we'll break it down just a, just a tad more detail so we can kind of look at it a little bit closer, right? So we got OU. I mean, they got, what, that eight people basically within five yards line of scrimmage, right? Four down linemen, backers, and then a DB. Uh, when you have the threat of the run game, it makes throwing uh, so much easier. That's not rocket science, right? But by the, by because of the, the threat of the run game, now it's an easy throw. Uh, we'll see there's just plenty of space here. Yours is able to just to kind of loft it out there. Nice little two ball. Let your receiver kind of go get it. Uh, can, can, can trust the receiver is going to be where he needs to be, right? So just a good example. Again, being on the same page, easy throw, easy catch there. That, that's probably an easier throw than the other throws that we watched, uh, but still a decent example, right? Especially pressure in the face. Ball's out right now. Hey, just throw it to some space. Know your receiver's going to be there. And, and trust your guy, right? So big play uh, there. So watch a few more clips of yours uh, as, you know, what it looks like to kind of not be on the same page. And then we'll finish the video up. Here is a incomplete pass and an out route. And again, just not on the same page as the receiver. So it's really hard to know who's, whose fault this is, right? Um, should the, should the receiver have broken out early? Should, should the years have waited a little longer to throw? Don't know unless we're in the actual meeting room. But we'll watch it real quick. And <clears throat> again, and and this is you know whenever you were struggled, whenever the offense struggled, they just weren't on the same page, right? The ball comes out now, boom. Uh, so you know again, we're not in the receiver's room. I don't know if he should have broken out earlier. If you should have waited, but again, just an example of uh, potentially he was there to be open, right? But for whatever reason. The ball was incomplete. So just an example of you know what we watched the previous plays being on the same page as the receiver, good anticipation, good timing, trusting, and then uh, not being on the same page here for whatever reason, leading to an incomplete pass. This is actually the exact play uh, after the play we just watched here. This would be the last one we watched, uh, but this is a good example of just not being on the same page. And this isn't necessarily yours' fault. I, I actually think it's on the receiver. Now we could be wrong. Um, you know, we're not in the receiving room or quarterback room or <laughs> offensive room by any means. But just from the look at it, right, it's third and what five or so. The sticks are right 
here, the receiver probably has an option route. I really don't know, but look, yours is kind of ready to throw it and get out right now, right? So I don't know if it's like a little glance he's got or, or, or what, but he's ready to get the ball out right now. You can kind of see in the receivers, it's not looking, not ready, and then uh, that sack happens, right? Uh, so it ends up being a, a sack. So regardless if that's yours fault or the receiver, again, don't, I don't know. Um, but still, I think it's a decent example of this not, not necessarily being on the same page and leading to a sack. So we'll watch it here. You can see he's ready to throw the ball. So either the receiver maybe ran the wrong route or yours thought the receiver uh, should have ran something different and maybe yours in the wrong end. We don't know. But right there, he's kind of ready, waiting, waiting. Uh, and then <clears throat> the, the, the sack gets there and ends up being up a fourth down, right? So again, just an example of, of a play where you're not on the same page. Yeah, and look, look like he thought the receiver was supposed to do something different there. But again, uh, could be wrong. But uh yeah, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. There's obviously several more clips um, that show just kind of not being on the same page and, and show him throwing, you know, good balls and being on the same page. But for the sake of the video, we'll, we'll end it here. All right, so just a few clips each, right? Four or five clips showing what it looks like to be in sync with your receiver, throwing with anticipation, having feel in your passes, throwing the ball to space and trusting your receiver to be there. And the last few clips showed what it looks like to, to not be in sync and have, you know, some stuff going on where no one is really on the same page regardless whose fault that is but i want to hear from you what are your thoughts on just on just the reasons we gave about him you know having an up and down season what are your thoughts on the 2023 season we're excited we can't wait to watch football and watch quarterback sling it again if you like quarterback content please consider subscribing we do quarterback content on a regular basis so like the video subscribe all that fun youtube stuff we'll see you next time peace